Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about first time software developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi, well it was a little bit of a story actually. Hi Frederick, thanks again for taking the time to help others navigate this career field. You are welcome, I'm happy to do so. I just finished my first semester of a very challenging uh, computer science master program and as a career changer with five years of IT experience. Oh, okay, so you switched careers. Okay, cool. Looking for my first software developer job and I wanted to get your take on how far I should reach for that first software development job. I'm in a developing country and I, interview, I interviewed and got a local job offer a few weeks ago for a level two software developer uh, position paying about 700 US dollars per month. After consideration and consultation with my wife, I turned down for multiple reasons. Their training me and mentorship is likely not good. I can make be better money in much less than 40 hours per week unrelated to software development. Better, sp uh, better spend my time working through my difficult degree program and finish up and finish up the second half of software development coursework through launch school and then a job. Do you believe I made the right decision or should I be jumping at any opportunity I get since the first job is so tough to land? The company is a big one where uh, with a nice campus but the work culture can be quite different. I have applied to a ton of internships in my home country, the US, and while it's still very early, I've seen four quick rejections and had failed three hour, co three, three hour coding tests. So I'm beginning to second guess myself. Please let me know your thoughts. Thanks and regards. Well, this is hard. Um, it's the. Well, I, uh, I'm not sure what the. Well, you, you need to keep a, a cool head. Like the Swedes, we like to say you need to have ice in your stomach. And basically what that means in, well, in my language, it means that uh, when you're going through an, a stressful or tough time, it's important for you to keep a level head so that you don't make any rash decisions or any ra sudden, uh, if, if, so you don't get too emotional about the decision that you're going to make. It is true, yes. For a lot of people, the first job is fairly, fairly difficult to find. The thing that I said, wrote back to this person was that, uh, as you did mention, the first job is usually hard. The thing that you should know, on the other hand, is that after one or two years of experience, that changes for most of you, or it's going to m m matter quite a lot for your CV. Uh, you still, of course, uh, have to have quality experience so it's just it's not like you get a magic number oh I have one year of work experience and therefore I'm now applicable to work everywhere it's more that people will take a greater interest in you because there is a well um, I don't know what to call it but a prejudice uh, a mentality most companies re require a minimum amount of experience of one to two years before they're going to take a chance on a junior developer and the reason is very simple because it costs money to train someone from absolute scratch if it's your first job most companies will see that you are practically useless to them and that is unfortunately very true in many cases most developers who have less than uh, one year of experience actual work experience are going to have it, they require a lot of attention and they don't produce all that much value and we're still at the point where although it is hard to find developers it's not so painful that companies are not willing to either up the price of finding someone who's good or wait a little while or so forth. There are still options to go. It's not like it's a you know a complete drought of people. It's more it's it's just a painful process for everybody involved, which leaves the junior developers in a hard position in many cases. The ones at the very least who don't have prior experience, because although they could probably get the right mentorship and get in and I, I'm not even s sure how much it would cost to train a junior developer in comparison to hire someone who is more experienced because the recruiters and so forth they cost a ton of money as well so I don't know how to do that calculation but that is the way of the, it's the lay of the land that is the way it looks so I suggested to this person that you can if you feel unsure and you start to feel a little bit nervous you mean you can stay the course of course 
and hope that uh, things turn out better for you and another option is that you could consider taking this other job as a temporary measure you see as I said if you have one or two years of work experience even if this job isn't perfect for you well it's still going to add weight to your CV and that is useful you're going to even if it's not perfect get exposure to the work environment that you're trying to get into and just as I don't know someone who wants to work their way up to being something great in a company might have to start at the bottom and then work their way up you could have the same path where you start working at this company and then you actually start applying for other jobs because that's the thing right if you take this job and sure it might pay a little a little bit worse than what you had expected uh, if it's a temporary thing and it's going to net you the ability to actually get into higher paying jobs and uh, to do the thing that you actually want to do I mean nobody's forcing you to be a software developer and if you find that you can make money in as you were mentioning in some other fashion then go for it the this is really only a, an important thing I would say if you're set on being a software developer because in if that is the case and this is your situation I would consider taking this job temporarily and you could even I mean you can take the job on Monday and start looking for new opportunities on Tuesday nobody is it's just a job and having a job just be saying that you're working in a, in a company is in of itself something that is useful for your CV when you're looking for the next job uh, it has weight because now you have pre-selection you have social accept you you have socially proven yourself which is something that is a big thing like uh, when you're hiring people if you have someone who's never worked before that tells you one thing if you have somebody who's currently employed although it's not as valuable as someone who has had many years of experience in several companies it's still more valuable than you don't yeah, that you have never had a position to to begin with so what I want you to take away from this is that I suggest that if uh, either you stay the course and you you because money is a factor I, I'm not gonna deny that and you try to your best to find other positions and you go through the same grind that uh, all junior developers go through more or less uh, some are very lucky but most will have to look around a little bit uh, and then you do the same sorts of things that I've been trying to give you tips about in increasing the value of your CV, doing extra projects and trying to be involved in the IT community and so forth and then you apply 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 that's one way of doing it the other way is that you take this job and you say and you look at this as a very temporary thing even though it might not pay as much as you want it's still going to give you some level of experience it's going to mean that you're going you're going to have sh real world challenges which is a very useful thing and then you can continue looking for the next job even if the first job doesn't fit you because I can tell you from experience my first job sucked it was horrible it was I had stomach aches every single morning when when I came into work and I hated pre uh, hated most of it but it did teach me a lot of things and I did move to a better position fairly shortly after I think my first year uh, doing that sort of work and now in hindsight I can look back and say yeah it was really bad but at the same time it proved how much I want to be a software developer because I made it through and today I'm very very happy that I went the path that I took have a great day